Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to make a follow-up video on the Amazfit T-Rex texting. I've had a lot of feedback about it not working for some folks, and I actually just changed phones yesterday to the Pixel 6a, and it's working fine for me. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick test just to kind of show it off, but um, let me do a quick test. Let's see, testing one, two, three. So you can kind of see here. I'm going to send this message, and testing one, two, three, so now we can go ahead and hit reply, and these are kind of the predetermined messages, so let's see here, in a meeting, sending, and let's see if it arrived, yep, got it right there, so it's working fine for me, um, so I want to take a look at the settings to see kind of if there's anything, you know, that needs to be changed. So if we go to the watch settings here, um, I've got all these turned on. All the notifications are turned on. I'm trying to think what other settings maybe could be. Um, I think also I believe you have to... I'm trying to find where that was, but I think there's a setting where you pick and choose which apps you want to notify you. Um, you have to make sure that you enable that app as well. I'm trying to remember where that was. Let me, let me find that where that is. Okay, so once you go to um, your notifications and reminders, uh, you, you got all these on if you tap on app alerts you want to make sure that your messaging app is turned on so in my case it's messages and that incoming on incoming call is on oh there's also this one auto sms reply i don't know if that matters or not but then here's where you manage you know your replies so that is um that's all I can think of, really. And then, of course, if you make sure that you can go into the app itself, when you you go into the settings of the app, that you have all the permissions enabled, SMS and phone um, enabled. So that's all I can think of that would really control it. I think if it doesn't work for you, maybe just unpair it, start fresh, make sure that you, during the setup process, you're turning on all the proper permissions. But that is, um, that's kind of... That's all I have is so it works on both my phones, the S22 and the Pixel 6. Hope that helps.